Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss, still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted so much Hi friends, welcome back and welcome if you're new here My name is Nikki In today's video, we're going to be looking back to last summer When I redid our dining area in our Eden kitchen This originally would have been the dining room for the house Before they did the big add-on in the back um, so we're just going to call it the eat-in kitchen area and we started out with this kind of ugly round table that came over from my mom's house. It had been beaten up and torn up and it was ready to go but it's what we had for a time because it kind of fit that area, not really, but until we were able to buy this new table that matched the dining room table that we've had for a while but it has the same base color and the top color is the same cherry wood. So we bought that and then I found this banquette kit on Amazon that kind of fit the space but not totally. So I got it here and we were able to rework it and restyle it so that it fit into the area that we wanted the banquette to go. It was a little bit long on one of the edges and was going to hang over into the entrance to the rest of the house. So we had to delete this part in white and then just keep the part with the pink around it. I'll show you how we did that. Um, basically just cut off that end, the third seat that should have been there, and moved that side edge over and gave it an, a little bit of extra support on the bottom because it was missing uh, one leg that would have been the support that we needed. So I put a little bit of extra wood supports on the bottom and it fit perfectly fine even actually fit better than I thought it would because we were able to keep one of our electrical um, outlets right there which works out great. So here I'm showing you where the other side should have been and how it would have cut into that entrance area and so that's why we actually took that off and this table how it matches our other table I love that still it looks great together but the banquette seat itself was just an ugly orangey I don't even know how to describe that it looked like an old ugly church pew so I filled in some holes I sanded it down get all the gloss out of the, off of it and painted it that same off-white color so that's what you're gonna see here today so stick around for the rest of this basically easy uh, and quick DIY and stay until the end for the before and after reveal because it's a good one So I'm using my fingers here because the scraper tool, I kind of had started with that, but it wouldn't fit into the bucket easily. And fingers are just easier sometimes. <laughs> I know it looks really messy and it might be playing on your anxieties, but it was just easier because these holes from those little poppet things that were covering the screw holes were very wide and deep. It was just not easy or clean to get it in there. So sorry if that is triggering you but it was the easiest way to do it but i do my best to breathe dreams of green and filled with this life is so much more than this so where do you go so i just got done mowing the lawn so i look like a hot mess it's because i'm hot and i'm a mess hot mess and since I'm already sweaty and gross and dusty and dirty, I'm going to go sand down the banquette and hopefully get that done today and prepped for paint. I might not start the paint yet, but I'm hoping to get just the whole thing sanded and ready to go because it has like a, hoping a thin layer of like a gloss over the top of that orangey looking wood. So we'll see what happens when I discover what's underneath it, but I'm pretty sure it's just like a thin layer. So. Hopefully that goes smoothly, so let's go do that. Warming sun and my life's just begun. Sun under the sun. I'll be 
for putting the banquette together off camera it just kind of was a pain in the butt uh, my mother and I worked on it for probably the better part of a day and it did not go well it took a long time and a lot of trial and error to get it to this point where it was standing up on its own without that extra piece so I just didn't want to show that but you can see when I flip it over to sand it or to paint it where I added the extra brace on the back to keep that little triangle corner piece up and that was kind of a trial and error and another pain in my butt so I just decided not to put any of that footage in here because it didn't seem like it would be helpful I have finished taping it off the cat. Um, it's not happy about the tape on the floor, I guess. Nico, get! Also sustained an injury that I don't remember happening. Uh, so, right. same day, I just switched shirts to my painting shirt. It's already ruined, so why ruin two shirts? The color that I picked is called Ivory Lace and I tried my best to color match it to the legs of my tables. I did not take the actual legs to the store and put them in the color match machine because everything was already put together and that would be ridiculous. So I just got a couple of um, color swatches, brought them home and found the one that matched the best and I just happened to get a perfect match. So that's great. Um, I got it in eggshell because that seems to be what the other table legs were finished with. I don't know that if I knew then what I know now that I would pick eggshell again or that I wouldn't have to put a um, gloss or um, whatever you put on top of painted furniture like a wax or what do they call it um, a sealant that's what it is <laughs> I would have done that because it has scratched since then not terribly like um, not so much that I'm totally regretting what I did but I do plan on using the same exact paint color and all on other pieces of furniture so whenever I do that I'll probably go back and just lightly sand where those scratches are and repaint those and I will probably seal the entire thing when I do that. I just don't have the time to do that right now so when I'm doing it to another piece of furniture I'll go ahead and do it to this one while I have everything out but for now it looks fine actually it looks great and it's working out totally fine I just got to keep you know little hands and shoes off of it 
Oh, your love has got me high Never wanna say goodbye It's like my world's on fire Like my world's on fire This is where we're meant to be Singing to this melody Oh, this melody So we didn't strictly need to paint the back of this or uh, the underneath of it, but the boys wanted to help, so it was a good little project for them, so I let them go to town. Had a little nail hole come through up here that I had forgotten to patch over, so that's all that I'm doing here. It's just fixing that before I put the second coat on everything. This is the genius way that I thought of to hold it open while it dried because I didn't want the bench to stick, and here's everything dried. I had this rug here and I love this rug. I love it so much, but it just wasn't working in that area and I couldn't figure out why. I left it there for about a week just to see if it would grow on me. It did not. And I think it was just that it was round and the table was round. It just wasn't working out in that area. So I decided to order these chairs off of Overstock and maybe that might complete the look. Um, so I got them in, I built them, they were pretty easy to put together. I think they're beautiful, I love them. We still have them, they're still functioning just fine. But with this round rug, it just looked awkward. I switched out the rugs. So the dilemma I had about the rug in my office, I have now fixed. This was the one that was in my office that I felt was a little off. And I got it in here thinking maybe a rectangular shape would work better and it really does so a friend suggested it put like a plant stand here or I don't know like a little table or something just to fill in that space a little bit because it is kind of awkward with nothing there it just fits the space much better now so hopefully someday I can change this out and it'll bring it all together
I told you that would be a good before and after. I think this is so beautiful. Um, this is one of my favorite areas in our house now. It's not complete. I do still need to figure out what to do on that back wall. I have an old black and white picture uh, that my parents took or my father took a long time ago that I really want to get blown up. So I'm still looking into the best way to do that. I don't want to distort it at all, but I want to get it as big as I can. If that doesn't work out, I might still do some kind of wallpaper back there. I've also been throwing around the idea of board and batten, but I don't know how that will look with the banquette there. Um, but that's my plan, so we're going to look into that. Uh, if you want links for any of these things, the table, the banquette, the plants, the chairs, both of the rugs, the pillowcases, all of that. I'm going to try and get as much as I can linked below. Um, so look for it there if that's what you're looking for. Thank you so much for stopping by and come back for another video.